sometimes special conditions placed on an experiment can make dramatic differences in the probabilities that we calculate for the events. For example, we have an experiment which consists of selecting a man at random and estimating the probability that he is taller than six feet four inches. Okay, so I'm sure most of you would agree probability is rather small because most men are not taller than six feet four inches. But now suppose we are given the additional information that the men we are choosing from are all NBA players. This additional information will dramatically affect our uh, assessment of the probability of this man's height. And now we would say that actually chances are quite good that he would be taller than six feet four inches. This is an example of a conditional probability. So for example, if we let E be the event that the man is taller than six feet four inches, and if N is the event that he is an NBA player, then we can express the conditional probability of the man being taller than six feet four inches given that he is an NBA player in this way. Okay, so we write the probability of the event that we're interested in, namely that he's taller than six feet four inches, then a vertical bar, and then the conditioning event, in this case the fact that we know he's an NBA player. And this conditional probability is defined as follows. We find the probability of the intersection of these two events and then divide by the probability of the conditioning event. In many of the examples that we look at, the outcomes will be equally likely. And in that uh, situation, the problem is simplified. Again, all we need to do is just count the number of outcomes in the intersection and divide by the number of outcomes in the conditioning event.